welcome back to Realistic Fishing. It's a cold fall morning. I'd say 43 degrees. And we're out here to do some of the easiest fishing there is. We're gonna fish with a float and a worm and see how many bluegill we can catch in a short time. It's so cold, I only wanna stand out here for about a half hour. Let's see what we can do. Let's get wormed up here. See if we have any fish hanging out down here at the end of the boat ramp. I may need to adjust my bobber to fish deeper. We'll see. Fish on. At least we have some bluegill. First fish of the day right here. Four inch bluegill. Nothing to write home about, but there are some fish. get it back out there maybe we can find some more bluegill usually hang out in schools maybe we can even get lucky and find a crappie or something like that there's a nibble got him a little bit better fight on this guy around the same size yeah this one's a little bit longer but still pretty small maybe five inches 43 degree bluegill they're still out here Oh, I had a bite and missed him. Did you see it go under? Ended up with a leaf instead. I'm just glad I can find some fish. Is that a bite? Sure is, fish on. This one's a little bit better. Just a little bit. Biggest fish of the day so far. That ain't saying a whole lot. Got about a six incher here. Yeah, good one. This is Kenny South from Rock and Wrestle Federation. You're watching Realistic Fishing. You better keep it realistic. Let's keep going. Got that one. Another one, about the same size, a little smaller this time. This is similar to those first few. Yeah, four and a half incher, maybe five. I still got that same piece of worm. Let's hook it on a little better and keep fishing. What is that now? Five bluegill in five minutes? Something like that. Easy, fast fishing fun. Oh, missed that one. Yeah, this is easy enough for anybody. Anybody. 25 bucks and you're out there fishing then the next time you go if you dig up your own worms it's pretty much free I just missed that fish if you buy your worms you know two or three bucks there's not a whole lot of fun out there to be had for two or three bucks anymore but fishing for bluegill is one of them 
I think it's fun anyway. Got him. Just a little bite that time. We got a different species here, long-eared sunfish. He's a little bit smaller than the rest. Can you see the subtle differences? The color, that ear right there. Nice one. How many fish is that? Five or six? And I'm still getting bites. There's a whole school of them down there. I have a tiny piece of worm left down there. Let's see if we can't get another one. If you wanted to harvest these fish to eat, even though they're small, you could. Or if you wanted to keep them as bait. Some people use bluegill for catfish bait. Some people use bluegill for bass bait. Hi, I'm Alex from Brazil. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. This is the easiest way I know to catch fish. Size 10 hook with a worm, one pinch on sinker, one float. Where you catch one bluegill, keep casting there. There's a good chance there's a school and you can do like I'm doing, catch one after the other. Got him. And this right here is what you catch. Five inch bluegill. All right, this is my second worm. Let's see if we can get a few more. I got about 10 minutes left. I've been catching fish after fish. There's a bite. Got him. Scrappy one here, scrappy. That's one of the bigger fish today. Yeah, that one's nice. That's one of the better fish today. About seven inches. Yeah, that would be a keeper. Let's do it again. Just to watch the bobber go down. Fish on. Another feisty bluegill. Yeah, we got about a six incher here. This is about as small as I would want to go if I was keeping them. Good fish. So far I've had, I don't know, three or four keepers out of about, what, 10? Before the next cast, I want to hook my worm on here a little better. I see it kind of dangling off. Got him. There we go, not bad. Another bluegill. Yeah, that's a good one. Five and a half, six inches. Let's keep going. It's hard to leave when you're catching them. Vance here from Fishing with Vance. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Nice and easy. We're just tossing it out there about 20 feet. I'm not casting it as far as I can. I'm trying to cast it around the same spot every time because that's where the fish are.
There's a bite. Got him. That's a good looking fish. Got about a six incher here. Still got some worm. We're getting it right back out there. Watch that bobber. There it goes. Oh, missed him. Right back to where it was. Watch that bobber. There it goes. Got him. There's another one. About a five incher this time. All right, let's see if we can get one or two more before it's time to go. You know, this would be perfect for kids. If your kid is bored, you can always just go to a park and try and catch bluegill. The fresh air and sunlight will do you good. There's a bite. Take it. That seems to be the magic spot right there. Give it a little twitch and wait. Got him. Another fish, count it. Yeah, a little bit smaller this one, but we're going for numbers. Just a couple minutes left now. I gave myself a half hour. We're almost there. There's a bite. Another small one. I'm Frankie Swan Tyler of the Walking Wrestling Federation, and this is Realistic Fishing. Let's keep it realistic. I don't even know how many fish that is. I lost count. But if I stayed longer, I could probably catch more. We're going for one more and then I'm out of here. Got him. Last fish right here. Feels like a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a scrappy little bluegill. Last one right here. Got about a six incher. Not the biggest today, but I am getting some fish. I don't know how many I got in this half hour, but I had a good time. That's all it took right there, live red worms. 
I used two worms. Got a bunch of fish. So yeah, there we go. Even though it's cold, I'm still catching fish out here. I don't know how many fish I caught. At least a dozen in a half hour. Pretty good. I had a good time. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.